Hello, welcome to my house and welcome to my channel. I'm Laura Cepeda and today I have something very special to share with all of you. I know that you have seen me with this beautiful poncho in a previous life that I have had in my channel Laura Cepeda. You asked me to show you how you can make it and well, as I promise, here it is. Today I'm going to give you a step by step. I know that it seems a little bit difficult, but no. You know that I love to make uh, garments that are beautiful, easy and simple. So today I'm going to give you all the steps. And well, you know that before we start, I invite all of you to subscribe and to give me a like too, okay? But well, let's don't lose more time. I will give you the material list and then the step by step. For this poncho and a standard size, we will need 300 grams of this yarn. It is between light and fine yarn and a hook of number four according how you crochet, okay? If you want, you can use a hook of number three and a half too. Here I will share all the information where you can buy this material. To buy all the materials that I use in all my videos, you can visit my online store www.lauracepeda.es and we will send it right to your house. Well, with one thread and with our hook, we will start making chains. Try to make these chains a little bit loose, okay? So if you crochet tie, I suggest that you use the hook of number four. We are going to make 128. At the end of the 128 chains, we are going to close in circle. Remember that before we close, we must check that we didn't twist. Well, once we are sure, we will go up with three chains and then we are going to make one double crochet in each chain. Always taking both parts of the chain like this, okay? We are going to continue and at the end we must have 128 double crochets. Remember, these double crochets of two crochets. At the end of the row, we are going to slip one to close, but remember, if you twist, here is a perfect step where you can fix it, okay? You just turn and then you will close, okay? So once you are sure, we are going to slip one to close like this. Remember, we must have 128 double crochets. Okay, for the second row, we will take, since the beginning, the first stitch in relief. This row will be also of double crochets but in relief and we will alternate. So we will insert the hook in the back and we will go up with two chains. Then we will alternate and we are going to place now the hook in front and a double crochet. Then in the back, so we are going to alternate, okay? And like this is how we are going to continue the whole row, alternating how we insert the hook making the double crochets in row left. So see you at the end of this row. Well at the end of the row please check that you didn't twist. Okay once you are sure we are going to slip one to close and also check that you alternate the double crochets. Okay you must have take the stitch in the back and in front. So we will slip one we will go up with three chains and in the same space a double crochet then two chains and also in the same space two double crochets together so here we have the first shell you see all of them in the same space you see that we insert where we place the hook in front in the last row well right there is where we are going to start then we will skip one in the back and in the next one Taken in the front, we are going to make there the second shell. So two double crochets, two chains, and again two double crochets, all of them in the same space. Well, you see, we skip two in front, these two double crochets, and we leave one in the back here in the middle. So we skip one, two, three, and in the fourth again, we make the next shell. So again, three chains. We are going to skip these two where we have these splits and here again we are going to insert the hook. So you see we are going to skip these two 
and right here is where we are going to make the next shell and like this is how we are going to continue remember between double crochets two chains and between shells three chains like this is how we are going to continue the whole row well at the end of the row we will finish with three chains we will slip one too close and now we are going to slip one no sorry it's one before because right away we are going to insert the hook in the back we are going to take it in relief we will go up with two chains and right there in that space a double crochet you see so I took the I took the first one in relief then two chains and in the same space the next two double crochets to complete the uh, shell but the last double crochet also in relief so you see that I placed the hook in the back again three chains right away we are going to skip the first double crochet and in the next one we are going to take it right away in relief then one inside then two chains one double crochet and the last double crochet in relief placing the hook in the back well I will freeze this a little bit so you can see it we will continue with three chains we skip one and in the next one right away in relief then the next inside double crochet then two chains then again inside one double crochet and the last one we are going to take it in relief too and the next row will be the same but well let's first finish this row and see you in the next one to teach you how we are going to continue but it will be basically the same well the next row we are going to slip one to close and then right away we are going to take no sorry before we slip we are going to slip one to close but here in the next in the second double crochet and once we are here we are going to insert the hook in the back and we will go up with two chains so we will be in relief then the next one inside then two chains the third double crochet inside and the fourth in relief placing the hook in the back well I'm going to make one more with you so you can see how it is I want that this is clear and like this we are going to continue for several rows until we get the long of the poncho that we want. Remember that at the end we are going to make a kind of leaves or pineapples, so please ta take that into account and don't uh, use too much material in this part, okay? Maybe 200 grams in this part and 100 grams for the edge. So, so please take that into account and for now let's continue making more rows like this and see you when you have the long of the poncho that you want but remember the edge. Well look I have more rows 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 and 16 rows. I think that uh, it's okay with this number of rows this approximately arrived to my waist so for now I'm going to start making the edge the uh, pineapples or leaves that I called okay it is important to consider that if you are making this poncho with a lighter material you need to make more rows okay but well before you continue try on and see if you like the rows that the number of rows that you made well I will measure it and so you can have a more exact idea so from the neck to the 16 rows that I made I have 20, 25 centimeters right well so once you have all the rows that you want and you are sure well now we are going to continue with the edge I'm going to continue with the pineapples and we are going to make one shell like we made before in the previous rows remember also taking in relief two of the double crochets and in the next one the next two inside then we are going to make one two three chains and in the next shell 
right there we are going to make 10 double crochets one two three four five six seven eight nine and ten so this is how the sequence will be in this 17th uh, row okay we are going to make one shell that we have been making before and in the next shell right there over it we are going to make 10 double crochets okay so and uh, this is how we are going to continue the whole row and see you there at the end of the row we are going to slip one to close like this okay so we must have something like this and right here we will go up with two chains and now we are going to make one chain and we are going to take this stitch like rib, uh, rib stitch right just taking the back part of the chain so between each double crochet we are going to make one chain and well this is how we are going to continue for the rest of the 10 double crochets that we made in the last row between each double crochet we are going to make one chain so here we almost finish and then in the next shell we are going to go right away in the space we are going to make a double crochet one double crochet so we will have two then two chains and then two double crochets again also in the same space now without taking it in relief okay then two chains two double crochets together so we will have two double crochets together two chains two double crochets together two chains and we will finish with two double crochets and right away we will go to the next 10 double crochets and we are going to repeat 10 double crochets and between them one chain and like this the whole row well at the end of the row we are going to slip one to close and now we are going to start making the pineapples but the pineapples we are going to finish one first then we will continue with the next one okay so we are going to turn around and now we are going to slip one until here okay until the first space of this first shell so one here we are going to slip one more one more and right here we are going to turn around so now that we are here in the first double crochet we will go up with three chains and right here we will make the first shell so the first two double crochets then two chains then a double crochet one double crochet more so we have this right so then three chains and where we made the last 10 double crochets with one chain between in the first chain we are going to make a single crochet then three chains so we were here three chains and now in the next space we are going to a slip one okay then again three chains and we are going to slip one remember that now we are not going to make complete rows okay we are going to make pineapples uh, by pineapples okay first we are going to finish one and then we will continue with the next one so i will tell you well where we are going to arrive to make the first pineapple so this is the first row and we'll let me finish this part first so i can show you so at the end we will have uh, one two three four five six seven and eight waves then three chains one two three and we will continue with the next two spaces of the last shells that we made remember and right there we are going to make in the first space one shell so two double crochets one chain and again two double crochets in the same space so in this part we will continue apart so this will be the first part of the pineapple so now we will turn around 
we are going to slip one but look I'm going to pull a little bit the thread and I'm going to slip until the middle of the first shell remember here where we made the chain then we are going to make two chains and here in this space one double crochet one chain and again two double crochets together in the same space okay so we only leave one chain there right we are going to make three chains and we are going to continue in the next wave and we are going to slip one okay it's important that you make that you slip one here okay because if you make a single crochet it will create volume and it won't look the, won't look the same okay so we are going to slip one so we are going to continue until here and then we will finish with three chains and with the last shell the same shell that we made at the beginning and we will continue like this for more rows okay and you will see that but it owns it will reduce a little bit we started making it eight waves so we will have one two three four five six and seven and in the next one we will have six and like this is how we are going to continue and well look what I made here you see I this is the wrong side sorry but well we are here and you see we made eight then we made seven we made six five four until we arrived to one and here in the edge of the pineapple well we have two double crochets then one chain between them and then one double crochet and then we continue making three chains and we slip one okay so we will continue like this making the rows until we finish with one but we'll see you here to teach you how we are going to finish look here I'm finishing this pineapple with you so I'm almost there I'm going to slip one to, to finish the one of the last rows I will go up with two chains in this space a double crochet then one chain and two double crochets in the same space too then we are going to make it three chains and look I'm here I'm almost finished so I'm going to slip one right here in the middle I'm sorry let me okay we are going to slip one then three chains and we will finish making the last shell so two double crochets one chain and two double crochets as you see the stitch by it owns will tell you and will lead, lead you to reduce in this part and you will have at the end the pineapple and only here at the end we are just going to close it by making the last shell so we will make it like this turn around we will slip until the first space like this we will go up with two chains one double crochet then one chain and two double crochets and without making any chain we will go right to the next um, space and we will close it so this will be the last shell of the edge and of course we like this is how we are going to close okay so now that we finished now we are just going to cut remember a long thread so we can hide this thread later you can use embroidery needle or your hook too so look this is how it looks and we are going to repeat the same in the other pine apples okay so we are going to make one up pineapple by pineapple and it will reduce by itself we we started with eight and we finished with one and well now we are going to continue with the next one and we are going to start from here to here so this will be the next pineapple and we are going to make the same number of rows and everything once we have all the pineapples ready see you there to teach you how we are going to continue well look here I finished to make all the pineapples look how beautiful they look and remember that well at the end you should hide all the loose loose ends that we have and we will iron just the pineapples not the top okay because remember that we made this part in relief and it will lose its magic so we are just going to iron the pineapples neither the neck okay just the pineapples remember to use um, 
protection under the iron and with plenty of steam and very carefully and slowly we will iron this part okay but well now let's see how it looks and I hope that you have enjoyed making this poncho with me I love it well so what do you think I hope that you have enjoyed making this poncho with me you will see that it's very, it's very easy and very fast you will see that less than a day you will have this break ready I can wait to see you all making this project and making in so many different colors and um, sizes too but well don't forget to subscribe and see you in the coming videos bye